Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining problem on projection of plane. And we are going to see in this problem three stages. So let's start with the description of the problem. A rectangle 21 mm by 40 mm sides is resting on HP on one small side which is 35 degree inclined to VP while the surface of the plane makes 45 degree inclination with the HP. Draw its projection. So let's see first of all the summary that already we have discussed in the previous video. So these are the important steps that we are going to follow to solve the problem. So if you have not seen this video then definitely you should refer it first so that it is very easy to understand this problem or to solve this problem. So read problem once again carefully and try to give the answer of the following questions. First surface inclined to which plane? So read it carefully and try to give the answer. Next question assumption for initial position. So already we have discussed we have to assume in the first stage either the plane is parallel to HP or parallel to VP. So which assumption is suitable for this problem? So this is the question related to this option. Next, which view will show the true shape? Try to give the answer of this question. Next, which side will be vertical? Because of you know that rectangle having four sides. So which side will be the vertical? So now let's see one by one the answer of all these questions. So let's start with the first one. Surface inclined to which plane? So here it is given to you. Surface of the plane makes 45 degree inclination with HP. So the answer is the inclination of the surface with HP. Next, assumption for initial position. If one corner or edge on the HP, then you should assume the plane is parallel to HP. So read it once again carefully. So here it is given to you. Uh, the rectangle is resting on HP on one small side. That means one edge on the HP. So definitely you should assume the plane is parallel to HP. So here the answer is parallel to HP. Next, which view will show true shape? So here you can see, if you assume the plane is parallel to HP, then definitely in the top view, you will see the true shape. So here the answer is top view. Next, which side will be the vertical? So here it is given to you. It is resting on HP on one small side. So one small side will be the vertical. And here we have assumed that the plane is parallel to HP. So definitely you should start your problem in the first stage with the top view. So here I am going to write hence begins with the top view. That means draw the rectangle below XY with small side vertical. This is actually not required to write these tabs as well as this question in the examination but you should think in this similar way in the examination so it will be very easy to solve the problem so now i will draw the problem for the first stage with the top view now once again let's try to understand the position of the plane in 3d figure with respect to hp and vp so here you can see this is the horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane and initially in the step number one we can assume the plane is parallel to HP. So here you can see the plane is parallel to HP and this is the rectangle so that definitely the true shape will be in the top view. So definitely you should start with the top view. So first you have to draw the top view. Then you should follow this sequence like is square view. 
So first you have to draw the top view, then definitely you should draw the front view, then replace it, then once again draw the projection, replace it, once again draw the projection. So this sequence should be followed in this problem. So let's start with the top view. So first draw the XY line that will be your reference line and below XY line that is a top view. And we are going to assume over here in the first stage surface is parallel to HP. So you can see the rectangle like this. Here I have written one small side will be the vertical here you can see. That means perpendicular to VP. Here you can see the small side is perpendicular to VP and that will be on the HP. So this is the small side should be vertical and should be on the left side. Now the dimension is given to you 21 mm side that is the shorter side and 40 mm is the longer side. So definitely you can draw this rectangle with the help of the scale. This distance is actually the random distance so you can take any one distance. Next here you can see this is the dimension given to you as 40 mm then this one is the 21 mm here you can see. Now give the name as A, B, C, D. Next draw the projection from each corner point. So you will get the front view and here you can see the front view will be the line. So I can draw the line. You can draw this line on the X, Y also or you can take random any distance above X, Y line because of it is not mentioned so you can assume any one distance initially that means in the first stage. Now give the name here it is A, B so it must be A dash B dash similarly over here it is C, D so it must be C dash D dash. Keep in mind in the front view the name will be always with the dash whereas in the top view the name will be always without dash. Now see the second stage. So once again keep in mind if you assume in the first stage the plane is parallel to HP then in the second stage it must be inclined to HP and here the inclination is given to you as 45 degree inclination with HP. Now here you can see the surface is now inclined to HP with 45 degree. So the length of the front view will be remain same but rotate 45 degree with the horizontal line. So here I have to replace this front view over here but once again it is given to you one small side that is actually resting on HP. So this is AB that is a small side must be on the HP. So you have to draw the line which is 45 degree inclined to HP. So here I am going to assume that the surface is inclined to HP in the second stage. And that is given to you as 45 degree so you should write over here in the examination also. Now write down first this is the A dash B dash. Here keep in mind that A dash B dash must be on the X Y line because it is mentioned over here one small side that is on the HP. So this small side AB must be on the XY line. So this AB line that is actually on the HP. Now you have to replace it. So with the help of the compass you can replace it. So set the radius that is exactly equal to this length. Now take A dash B dash as the center, draw the arc so that you will get C dash D dash over here. Now draw the vertical projection and horizontal projection so that you will get the corresponding point over here. So give the name as A, B, C, D. So this is actually the second stage. Now once again keep in mind that in the first stage if you assume the surface is parallel to HP then in the second stage it must be inclined to HP and so that in third stage it must be inclined to VP. So here it is given to you 35 degree inclined to VP and you know that 
it is like this that shorter edge that is now inclined to VP and the inclination is given to you that is 35. So now here the point should be noted if the inclination is with VP then it must be below XY. If the inclination is with HP then it must be above XY line. So here now inclination with VP so it must be below XY line. So in the third stage, you have to draw the line that is 35 degree with the XY line. So with the side square, you can draw it. Now mention it over here 35 degree. Once again, you can draw the 35 degree line over here also or else you can draw like this also. Now, very important point. One small side, that means AB which is 35 degree inclined to VP. So now you have to replace this shape such that AB must be on this line. So now first you have to assume that A point is over here. Now with the help of the compass you can transfer it. So set the radius. Now draw the arc over here with A as the center so that you can say this is the B point. Now take this A B point as a reference and so that you can find the position of C and D. So set the radius that is exactly equal to AD. You draw the arc with A as the center. Now here I can say on this arc D point will be there. So this is actually the locus of the D point. Now you know that AD is exactly equal to BC. So with the same radius, you can draw the arc with B as the center so that you will get the locus of C point. Now you know that this AD is exactly perpendicular to AB. So I can draw the perpendicular line over here with AB so that I will get the location of the D point. Similarly, I can draw the perpendicular line with AB with the help of this scale and here you can see the long line on this scale is now meshing with this AB line. So automatically you will get the perpendicular line. So you will get the location of the C point. Now join this CD. So this is now actually replace. So keep in mind that over here we are going to replace this ABCD over here. So shape should not be deformed. Now see once again, this is the rectangle in the second stage and it is replaced over here. So shape is exactly the same. That means it will not be deformed. Now draw the vertical projection from each corner point and draw the horizontal projection so that you will get the corresponding point. So here you can see this is the vertical projection from B and here the horizontal projection from B dash. So this will be the B dash. Similarly, you can find the remaining points. Now join all the points with the straight line so that you will get the front view in the third stage. Now see in the examination, you should draw the dark outer line of the last stage compulsory. So in the examination, you should draw the dark line in the third stage only. But if you have the time, then you can draw the dark line for the first stage as well as the second stage. But don't draw this projection as the dark lines. So keep in mind projection must be light. Only your front view and top view in each and every stage should be dark. But in third stage, the front view and top view must be dark in the examination. If you have no time in the examination, then don't dark the front view and top view in the first and second stage. At last, is it really helpful to solve three stage problems now? Write your answer in the comment box. If you have any doubt, then you can raise your question in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.